The Kurds are one of the largest ethnic groups in the world without a state of their own. They exist on the borderlands between Syria, Iraq, Iran and Turkey, who are all vehemently opposed to any Kurdish state. But despite playing a pivotal role in the defeat of ISIS, the Kurds now appear further away than they ever have from gaining independence. In an effort to rectify this, the Iraqi Kurds recently held a referendum, voting to separate from Iraq and sparking new conflict in one of the most chaotic and volatile regions in the world. Ben Anderson returns to report on the fight for a Kurdish state. So roughly two years ago, I was with another group of Peshmerga, not that far from here, in an almost identical trench, even with dark smoke rising not far away. And then they were pointing out the black flags of ISIS, just six, seven hundred meters away. But today it's the Iraqi flag they're pointing out. How far away are the Iraqi forces now? The Iraqi army and its allies, the Iranian-backed Shia militias, or PMUs, have just attacked the Kurds, one of the US's most dependable partners in the region. This is now the border between Iraq and, and Kurdistan. Do you think this is now a permanent border? <laughs> The Iraqi army took the disputed city of Kirkuk, which had been in Kurdish hands since they defeated ISIS there in 2014. The Iraqi advance was halted here in Perna after a bloody day-long battle. I was and the Golden Division were involved as well. So the, the, the special forces that were trained by the Americans specifically to take on ISIS are now, are now attacking you. To me, it's, it's crazy that two American allies within days of beating ISIS, of fighting each other, but, but to you it seems like it's, it's no surprise at all. Wallahi la EMS sayr nina. Yani ba nazar EMA wa ba nazar yawan sayr nina. Surprise or not, it's a catastrophic setback after the recent victory over ISIS. A victory that the Peshmerga played a vital role in. Chikiyama wa ki Peshmerga wa ki lashkiri shu, lashkiri Kurdistan hech roja girman haz. But right now, are you fighting for your survival? Or, or are you fighting for the realistic possibility of, of, a, of an independent Kurdish state? The attack was in response to a referendum the Kurds held voting on independence from Iraq. And this is, this is probably a stupid question, but everybody here voted for independence? It passed with a 93% majority in favor of independence effectively giving up on the U.S. vision for a new, non-sectarian representative post-Saddam Iraq. That vision for a new Iraq fell apart soon after the invasion. We spoke to Masoud Barzani, president of the Kurdistan regional government from 2005 to 2017, and a longtime ally of the U.S. <laughs> Many Western leaders privately will agree with the moral case for a Kurdish state, but they always say that for pragmatic reasons, the timing is not right. You know, it will anger regional players, it might lead to military confrontations. 
اولا به همون شیوه قسیان لگده ایمش کردو حقی ایوه و مستحق نو اما لیمون پرسی باشه استکاتی مناسب نیا پیمان بلین کی کات اگه مناسبه اما چند سال اما ست ساله قد او کات مناسبه بو کرد نبو توان ایک نبو ملت ایک تعبیری لرائی خوی کردو دمه من سر بخوبم برانبر بشوه ایکی دکتاتوریانه و وحشی گرانه پلاماری خلقی کردسانیان دو the Kurds have been treated savagely for decades, culminating in the Anfal campaign, when Saddam Hussein tried to expel or exterminate Iraq's Kurds in one of the few attempted genocides since the Holocaust. There were many attacks with chemical weapons. The most notorious happened in 1988 in Halabja. Saddam's jets used mustard gas, killing at least 5,000 Kurds. I'm a Gorostani ki Ramzid. I wanna bray, xshu bray minen. Wa diara awash daik mad, awash khizanak. And how long were you married? Two months. Two months. Seven. How much are the lessons? We're doing the class. We can build a wall. We pull, pull the car. We had. Bini man. Let's add two new bedwaw. Dengi bomb. We can go around. Dengi kpiyan habu. اما ابونه که اما هست من پیکر بونی غازی طباخیه دبونه که زور پیز بو. Did Did you ever think after 2003 and Saddam was toppled that you would see the Iraqi government and the Kurds at war again? توقع من کل بهوی او مجوی که پیکر و بونی و بهوی او قربان دانه که پیکر و داو من اگر من لوز یک تری بچو. Following Saddam's defeat in the Gulf War. George H. W. Bush called for an uprising. The Kurds responded, but the U.S. had a change of heart and allowed Saddam to suppress the movement, killing thousands. Saddam was allowed to stay in power, but no fly zones were established to protect his victims. The Kurds used this protection to create a modern, democratic and secular proto-state, flying their own flag and relying solely on their own military. Then came the U.S. invasion. In 2003, the U.S. invaded and overthrew Saddam, and they said they were going to create a new Iraq which represented all Iraqis. And you worked with them to try and to try and make that succeed. Did you genuinely believe then that it, that it could work and that, that all minorities, including the Kurds, could be fairly represented? <laughs> So what made you go ahead with the referendum? I was not sure when. The way that each shrakat budgeti namawa, the store peshel kira, wa ihmali kurt kira, wa nek ihmal kira. I am hasman kira ke ba barnama ki darajra, roj ba roj ba roj, chin ke roli kurt namini tenu ma fi kurt peshel bikri. And and given the costs, are you still proud that you held the referendum? Zori shanazi pe wadak. This despite the fact that the referendum led to the loss of Kirkuk. Dr. Najmadeen Karim was the governor. He tried to rally a defense of the city, but had to flee when US special forces told him his life was in danger. They didn't give any details. They just thought that I should be careful and, you know, I was a target and probably my life was not safe to stay where I was. But just that, you know, that, that, that situation, you're, you're the elected governor of Kirkuk and Iraqi forces and, and the PMUs, with American training, with American weapons, are, are coming into the city and, and you have to flee for your life. It's, you know, it's so far from what was promised after the invasion. Maybe you should ask the American officials or the ambassador or whoever. And officially, what has been the US reaction to what happened in Kirkuk? Their reaction was indifference. Completely indifference, nothing else. Do you regret the decision to go ahead with the referendum? Absolutely not. I think that's something that stays on the books forever. There are 22 Arab other countries. Why not the Kurds?
The referendum had many critics, including Dr. Bilal Wahab, a Fulbright scholar who focuses on governance in Iraq and Iraqi Kurdistan. I voted yes. I knew it was a mistake, but I voted yes, because that question is not a logical question. It's an emotional question. It is every Kurdish person's dream to have independence. Therefore, it goes without saying that if you put the people in a position where you ask them, do you want a state of your own, that they're going to say yes. But it's the responsibility of the leadership not to risk the achievements, the livelihood, the prosperity of the Kurdish people by asking them an obvious question. From a short-term perspective, the backlash has been brutal. The impact has been utterly negative. So now we know uh, that uh, the region and the international community is not ready for a Kurdish state. Within days of the Kirkuk attack, Iraqi forces and PMUs also attacked the Kurds from the east. We met with Babaka Zabari, the first chief of staff of the new Iraqi army from 2003 to 2015. Having a Kurd in such a senior position was symbolically huge. You were the first chief of staff for the new Iraqi army. Um, you helped build the new Iraqi army. Just personally, how does it feel now that you're, you're having to defend against attacks from them? It's so disappointing. It's do you think now that ISIS is gone and you've become less useful to the rest of the world, they, they care less about, about you and, and any chance of Kurdish self-determination? What would you say to Kurdish leaders who said, since the 1920s, the US has been saying, now is not the right time, but one day we'll support self-determination? What could the US do in defending Kurdistan if the Iraqi government was willing to roll tanks in? Would the US fly airplanes to go and attack the Iraqi tanks? What if Turkey sent in troops? What if Iran sent in troops? They were all threatening with using violence against Kurdistan. It wasn't because it was morally wrong, but because of these realities. The opposition of the regional governments against changing the maps and against an independent Kurdistan was much larger for the United States to oppose. In other words, Kurdish independence simply wasn't worth it. What did you expect the U.S. to do? I saw the how has this changed your relationship with the U.S.? سوالی که زور گوری درست کردو. ایم ازور امید من باست ولی سر آمریکا و در نچو. آو خوانی در آو بوسر با خویه بای من زور واضح بود. من معقوله ملتک بله من دم وی سر با خوبم. أبي بيقرب كريت إنه إبادة مكري، ده برا فعلاً راسته شريمان ونمان، خلق سبيل شهيد كراون ودار بدر وأوارا كراون بس ده ها أزار خلق، أما توانية بلهم ملتي بلهم دمير سر بخوبن توانة، تورم عدالتي أم جهانة كتير.